Hi, WGDP community. My name is Dennis, and this is my sprint update. So, uh, this particular sprint, we had um, uh, a few features that we decided to focus on. And in our um, attempt to enhance um, the way messaging is done on the application, we decided to add um, a few features to the user profile that admins can use. So, as, as we currently have, we have um, our messages uh, card here, which displays all messages that uh, admins can use to communicate with the um, uh, users or, or customers. And also, um, clients and sales can also uh, use the messaging tab to um, to communicate with, with uh, support. But then, uh, what happens in, the, in an instance where uh, the admins uh, want to see the specific user history um, for one particular user without having to go to the uh, messaging screen where they have to search, um, search through a lot of messages. So one of the features that um, we have implemented is um, where uh, an admin can now um, see the messages on the, on the user's profile. So that's, that, that, the, that user's profile, uh, this is the user, user's profile that we have at the moment, initially, if if you would uh, remember the way the screen would would look, when I was looking before uh, before this, it didn't have uh, a communication tab, so it only had uh, notes, plots, payments, and contacts for admins. So admins are the only ones who were able to see um, uh, the other's particular views. So we started to add the communication tab to actually help uh, admins get get quick access to. Uh, messaging history. So when you click on the communication tab here, you are able to see um, all the message, all the messages that were sent uh, by the person logged in, and as well as the messages that other admins sent to uh, the client, and also the, the messages the client responded to. So basically, it's a message history of between the client and um, Kwashi. So in this case, the um, the admin has access to the message history from user's profile. So um, as well as um, they're able to send a message directly from this communication tab to that particular user. So let's say, for example, uh, so once they hit send, uh, the message will be sent and will be, will, be, will be updated on the screen. So you can even see the time it was sent. This is uh, 18, 1844 CAT. So at this point, uh, I receive a message on my phone. Uh, in, in this instance, where if, if, I'm, if I'm, I'm the client and admin is trying to communicate with me, they're able to use um, this communication stamp. So this is uh, what to try to leverage um, the ease of use of the application for for admin terms of communication, because um, the interaction between the clients and and, um, and 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 the CSMs is increasing as we go. So it we, we are trying to make it easier for them to have access to that history without having to go through a lot of um, searching. So one other thing that we introduced was um, a filter on the users page. So when you come to the users card, you click on the users card. Um, you will notice that if, uh, if a, few, a few things have been added to the page, but I'll only talk about uh, one of them. So this is going to be filtered by, uh, by mobile number. So the, the user's page normally is quite long and also um, has a search feature, but we decided to enhance it in a way that they have um, a specific um, filter types which the, the CSMs would want to use, for example. So in this case, we have a filter by ID, then you have filter by row. So uh, let's say you have 20 clients you want to search for at the same time, and you would want to um, not search for them one by one because that might take long. So what was introduced was um, a multi-line a multi search box where, uh, let's say if I type, um, these numbers, and then uh, I would want to search for all the numbers I have pasted. So in this case, these are two numbers. So when I click save here, it's going to 
search and bring, as you can see, there is the number which I put, the second number I added and the first number. So since this is my, this is a, this is a test account, so I have uh, the same number repeated on, on multiple accounts, but this is just a way of showing that you can uh, search by uh, using multiple numbers at the same time. So let's say, for example, they have an Excel sheet that would like to copy the list of contacts, um, list of contact numbers, and paste them into, the, into, into that multiple inbox and just search and to bring the results all together. So that also is just a, a way of making it easy for them to find clients uh, when using the, when searching the users list. So once that number is set again, is this clear filter, clear filter button here. So once that's clicked, you clear the filter that you set, uh, based on the numbers you're searching for, and it um, takes you back to, uh, to the, the normal screen. So these were the features that, uh, some of the features that we imp implemented and uh, I personally worked on. So, yeah, this is my sprint update and definitely see you next sprint. Bye.